Hello, welcome back to IASTEC. This tutorial covers the steps to add email validation in Angular forms using built-in validators. It will cover both template-driven and reactive form approaches. I am assuming that you have basic knowledge of Angular and forms in Angular and also make sure an angular project is ready with forms module and reactive forms module setup in your machine so if not then you can just go to your app module or app component if it is the standalone and you can directly import the forms module and reactive forms module so let me i have already forms module i'm going to import the reactive forms module make sure to import it here as well template driven forms are suitable for simple scenarios and use two-way data binding with ng model in your components template create a form with an email input field here i will just add an input type email and name is also going to be email and here we will add ng model required email and here add email field is equal to ng model okay now we will add if condition below it i am using latest syntax of angular to add if conditions email field dot errors dot email and email field dot touched and let's move it into that bracket and let's add another condition so this error would be for required and this error would be for the email validation okay so now let's give it a try you can see that as soon as i touch it it will show that invalid email so actually let me update the error messages to make it more meaningful okay now let's try it so i touched the input and blurred out of this input and now i got an error email is required but if i type something invalid then it will say that please enter a valid email but if i correct it like this then error message will be gone so here required attribute ensures the field is mandatory the email attribute activates angular's built-in email validator and email field is equal to ng model to create a template reference variable to access the input state and validation status next we will uh, see how to implement email validation in reactive forms so reactive forms are more scalable and flexible they are defined in a comp in the components class and use the form control instances so let's go to your component class and here let's set up the form with the controls so very first thing that i need to create is the property my form is equal to new form group make sure to import the group from the angular slash forms and give it an object and in that object i will provide all of the fields for this form that i need and then add form control and in that form control i will pass the default value and an array of validators validators dot required and validators dot email okay so here validators dot required and validators dot email are used to enforce the email fields requiredness and validate its format now let's update the template for the reactive form bind the form and input field to their respective form control instances so for that in the form tag i will add a directive form group and give it my form property that i just created in my component class and after that i will add the form control name here and the name would be same that you added in your form group in the component class and in here we don't need anything else so i'm going to get rid of everything that i had earlier so this syntax would stay almost same but this time i need to use my form dot get an email so in this way i got the control for the email so this is possible in null so i must have to add the option uh, question mark to make it optional and here i will check if it is if we have error about required and let me copy paste this because this is going to be repeated here as well actually in all of these places okay so here you must have to access it in this way to get rid of that error okay similarly here and here uh i think this is wrong no uh here you need to remove it and we don't need this here okay so now let's give it a quick try 
before we try that let me tell you that the form is bound with the my form using form group and the input field is linked to the email form control using the form control name so let's now try it i touched it and i got the error that email is required if you type something invalid it will show you that email address is invalid and if you provide a valid email then error will be gone and that's it adding email validation in angular forms is straightforward whether you are using template driven or reactive forms by leveraging angular's built-in validators you can ensure that users input valid email addresses in your forms i hope that this video was useful for you if you did not subscribe to my youtube channel yet then please make sure to subscribe it and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming such videos and also if you have any questions or feedback or suggestion then please leave them in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time goodbye